Hey there, welcome to Jesus in Less Than Five Minutes. And today I want to talk to you about returning to your comfort zone. And uh, when you get stressed out and uh, when you're going through a hard time or, you know, when you get scared or something or, or you go through a major tragedy in your life or something, sometimes we tend to return back to the things of, of our comfort before, before we went to Christ or before deliverance or before God actually brought us through something. And the other day I was reading in Isaiah, and in Isaiah it talked about this. It said, uh, Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help, who rely on horses, who trust in the multitude of the chariots, and in great strength of their horsemen. But the Egyptians are men and not God. Their horses are flesh and not spirit. And that was Isaiah 31, verses 1 and 3. And um, when I read through that and I looked at it, and I thought about that, and it said, uh, it was speaking to me, it was speaking to me of when I have a hard time and how I tend to go back to my comfort zone. Rather, that may be sometimes I got, you know, here in this past year, there have been times I got really stressed out and I watched more movies. Or, uh, or that I indulged in eating a little bit more than I should have. Um, but some other people, they may, you know, they may indulge in, uh, they, may, they may rely more on, on alcohol or whatever. Or uh, other ones, man, they may get it, they may get into some things they shouldn't be getting into. Uh, a few years ago, I, I was, you know, I went through a couple times where I was really, really stressed out, and I indulged more in alcohol than I should have. Uh, I didn't get belligerent and drunk, but um, I shouldn't have drank as much as I did, and it became, it started becoming a habit. Uh, but by the grace of God, God brought brought me out of that. But but there is grace for us. There's grace for all of us, and uh, I just want to let you, I just want to share with you today that when you're going through those hard times, it's so mo it's so easy to get back in that place of comfort to try to find a place where where we want to be comfortable and uh, and God understands that you know David said that he said that uh, you know that I'm dirt you know that I, I'm fragile um, and so God understands that we have those hard times and that we really do need him to get through these times and that he's there for it. He, he has made himself available for us each and every day his door is always open to us it's not like he's he's in bed and you can't disturb him or anything like that or he's too occupied for you or you may not be good enough to go to go to God or if you go to God he's gonna come at you and bash you over the head with a bat all those things are a freaking lie I'm telling you right now they are a freaking lie from the devil and from hell itself to keep you from going to the one who created you why would someone want to create you and then try to beat you up and, and smash you it, that's not God at all he loves you and he, you know John 3 16 said God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for you to pay for your sins man are you gonna sacrifice something that much and, and hate it and wanna and wanna try to beat up on it no and it also says that you know he knows the hairs that's on your head and that he, he knows when a hair falls from your head he, he, that right there just goes to tell me that he cares that much that, that he's gonna invest that 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 kind of time in me to, to count the very hairs on my head that takes a lot of dedication and if God is so dedicated for you on that how much more will he be dedicated to to listen to you and to be there for you and if you tried it once and you feel like God really wasn't there try it again uh, God really does love you and he's there he's right there he's not forsaken you he hasn't forgot about you he hasn't given up on you. He's he's the one behind you cheering you on, saying, you can do this. And uh, I just want you to remember that. Tomorrow you wake up, I want you to remember the fact that you can do this. You are awesome, and uh, there's no greater love than the one that God gave on the cross for you. So today, as you go ahead and, and you, you look at this video, I just want you to say a little prayer and say, God, where are you at? I need you. Got to show up. I promise you. He's done it for me so many times. He'll do it for you too. And uh, I just want to tell you, God bless you. And may God be with you. And uh, remember, don't waste your life. And also, one other thing I just wanted to uh, I wanted to share with you real quick. Um, Wednesday, November 2nd. If, you'd re if you're going to view this tonight, Wednesday, November 2nd, uh, we're going to do a fast. It's, you're eating nothing but bread and drinking nothing but water. And the reason why we're going to do this fast and this is for um, this is for women who are being trafficked. This is not only for women; these are teenage girls that are that are being trafficked, trafficking. They're caught up in the trafficking of sex slaves, uh, and it's not just happening uh, over in Yugoslavia. They're being brought over here, or in 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 Africa, or Thailand, or whatever, or Mexico. This is happening in your backyard. If you live in the United States, this is happening in your backyard. Uh, you know, you then it's right there. 
You may not think it's not happening in my state or my city or my community. Trust me, it's happening in your backyard. And right now, I don't know what else to do except for, hey, let's start with a fast and prayer. And uh, these girls, they need us. They need every Christian man to stand up. Every man who's in church, you need to be fasting tomorrow for these girls because they need you. You need to stand up and quit quit fiddling around and say, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. Fast something and give something up for these girls, okay? Because they need you, all right? God bless you guys. I love you, man, and I'll see you next week.